All right, guys, so today we're going to be delving into the world of audio. I'm going to be looking at audio compression in dialogue, um, showing you how that you can improve the sound of your dialogue with some simple audio compression techniques. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you watching my video. If you do like the video and find it useful, please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I read and reply to all your comments. And if you're not already, if you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. Now you may or may not know, that as well as doing videography, I am actually a sound engineer. I regularly run the sound for a 12 piece funk band. In the past, I've done recordings, live recordings and live sound for a lot of bands and artists. So I'm going to be creating a series of audio videos showing you simple techniques that you can use to improve the audio in your films. Today we're going to be looking at compression. I'm going to be using Adobe Audition, but you can translate any of these techniques to the editing software or audio editing software that you are using. Normally I export my audio out into Pro Tools and do the editing there and then export it back into Premiere Pro where I do my video editing. But Premiere Pro is already linked to Adobe Audition, which is more than capable of giving you great audio results. You might not be using Premiere Pro, or you may be editing in a standalone audio software editing package. You can transfer these techniques to any editing software that you are using. Today, we're just gonna concentrate on some simple compression techniques. I've got some simple audio dialogue. Let's jump in and tidy it up a little bit. So here's my clip in Premiere Pro and to open up Audition, all you need to do is go to Edit, Edit in Adobe Audition, go to Clip, and this should bring the clip up in Audition, which it has. Okay, so here we've got the clip and you can see the clip in general is very quiet, sort of peaking at around minus 15 dB. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into decibels. You basically wanna be getting the audio as close to zero dB as you can without peaking. Peaking is where the audio goes above zero dB and that's when you start getting horrible audio clipping, which is where the audio starts to distort and that's not what you want. So you wanna be getting it as close to zero dB but without going over zero dB. So the first thing you wanna do with your audio is select all the audio. So right click, select all or control A. And then you're gonna to go to favorites and normalize to minus 0.1 dB, okay? And that will automatically take your clip and it will bring the highest peaks up to zero dB. And in doing that, it's automatically brought the rest of the clip up in volume. That's what it was like before and after. So before, after. So quite a considerable difference in audio. So let's just have a listen to the audio before. I put my headphones on. So today we're going to be looking at compression in a This is the audio before. We're going to be looking at the loud peaks. And this is the audio after normalizing. Today we're going to be looking at compression in Adobe Audition. We're going to be looking at the loud peaks. So quite a considerable difference in the loudness of the audio in general. And the next thing you want to do is you want to try and get the loud parts of the audio and the quiet parts of the audio so they're closer together. You want to do this so it still sounds natural, so you don't really want to squash it too close together. You want to leave a little bit of dynamic range in there. This is what I would suggest you would do. I'm going to go to my effects rack here. I'm going to select a hard limiter. And all this is going to do is it's going to stop my audio from going above zero dB. So whatever I do with the compression, this limiter will stop my audio from clipping and getting that horrible distortion noise, which you don't want. So I'm gonna put that in my rack, I'm gonna put it after the compression that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and select from the amplitude and compression, I'm gonna select the tube modeled compressor. The reason I'm using this compressor for the purpose of this tutorial is I know it's simple, easy to use, easy to understand, so I can explain it to you guys who don't really understand compressors and how they work. All compressors are gonna have something called a threshold. 
And what this is, is you want to look at your clip. So let's look at our clip. You want to find out the middle ground for the peaks. These are the loudest peaks. And these are the quieter peaks. And I would suggest that we want to be around here where this audio clip is, which is minus nine dB. So on your threshold, you're going to go to minus nine. And that in effect should bring the louder peaks down to the minus nine dB and the quieter peaks up to the minus nine dB. Won't, won't be exact. The quieter bits will still be a little bit quieter and the louder bits will still be a little bit louder. Unless you really want to compress the hell out of it, but that's when it starts sounding unnatural. So you don't really want to be doing that. This should bring the loud and quiet parts close enough together to really improve the quality of your audio. So the levels aren't going up and down too much. Ratio is how much you're squashing the clip. So if you have a ratio of one to one, it's not going to apply any compression. If you had an audio peak that was at minus five, if you had a 10 times ratio, it would crush it right down to minus 15, which is here. See, that's too much, too much compression. For audio dialogue, I would keep it between two and four. Start off at four, and that's a reasonable amount of compression. Now what you want to do is play a clip through and include some louder parts. And in the levels down the bottom, we want this to be maxing out at sort of zero, but averaging around minus three to minus six. We're going to be looking at the loud peaks and the quiet peaks, and we're going to try and bring them closer together. So we're going to try and bring the loud peaks down and the quiet peaks up. We want to add a little bit of gain, so the quieter bits are around minus three. And we can do this in our output gain. So if we just increase this, let's just try three decibels. And have a listen back. We're going to be looking at the loud peaks and the quiet peaks. And we're going to try and bring them closer together. So we're going to try and bring the loud peaks down and the quiet peaks up. For me, that's a nice balance. The quieter parts are now much louder. The louder parts are quieter. And in general, we're peaking between minus six and zero, which is fine. There's no clipping, there's no distorting. And the overall sound is much more uniform. There's not as much difference between the loud parts and the quiet parts. Attack and release, we're gonna leave as is for now. I'm gonna do another video going into compression a little bit more. But for now, I would just leave the compressor on the default settings. So now we've done this to our audio, we can now up click apply and you'll be able to see exactly what's happened. There we go. Much different, isn't it? So everything's much more aligned. There's not as much difference between the loud and the quiet parts. It's just a much better looking waveform. So this is our original audio. Let's play some of that quickly for you. So today we're going to be looking at compression in Adapt Audition. Our audio normalized in Adobe Audition. We're going to be looking at the lab. And this is our audio impression with all the Adobe effects Audition. and compression added. We're going to be looking at the loud peaks and the quiet peaks and we're going to try and bring them closer together. Okay, that's it for compression. So that's how I would treat any dialogue audio. I would normalize it. I would add some simple compression and that would be it really. You don't want it to start sounding unnatural so you don't want to add too much compression. And then I would go on to EQ the audio, which I will be doing in another video. So stay tuned for that one. So please do let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more of these audio tutorials. I am going to be doing a mini series of these. Depending on how popular the videos are, I will be going more in depth on audio processing as it's something I do know a little bit about. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you can give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I always like to read your comments and read and reply to everyone. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and hit that notification bell. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday, so hit the notification bell and you won't miss any of my content. Let me know how you get on applying this to your dialogue audio and I'll see you in the next one.